now I wanted to talk a little bit about the the difference that you'll you can see within some pumps and how the impeller or how the design differences may impact the, the hydraulic performance and and things like that. So here's a diagram that shows some of the different impeller types. So on the left here, you're going to see this diagram or this image of what would be considered a closed impeller. And so one of these impellers will have what's considered a front shroud. It's this feature on the front of the pump, as or as, on the front of the impeller, and then a shroud on the back as well. And the back of and then then the fluid is going through the internal passageways of this closed impeller. So these impellers, you're going to see them as being desirable when it comes to hydraulic efficiency because you can control the flow passage very well um, within the impeller itself. You can design these pumps to, uh, as new, operate at high efficiencies. With that said, over time, that internal flow path is going to wear away, particularly if you're using abrasives or you've got a chemical corrosion attack or chemical attack going on on the pillar. Um, the internal flow path will start to change over time, and that will cause one of these impellers to have a performance decline over the life. And that will the decline will depend a lot on the conditions of service and the fluid that's being operated or use. The, the other challenge with the closed impeller is that if uh, you're operating the pump with any kind of solids, then a, a solid could get stuck inside the impeller and then cause a hydraulic imbalance or and then ultimately excessive vibration until you stop the pump and clear that blockage. So you've got um, a lot of pumps out there that are closed impellers. You're typically going to see them on clean uh, fluid applications um, where you're, you want really high efficiencies. When you come to this next category, which is uh, what, what are called semi-open, some people call them open impellers, uh, these ones you can see there's no front shroud on the impeller itself, and that means the impeller has to be um, installed and controlled on its placement very close to the casing. And so the portion, the flow in one of these pumps goes inside the impeller vein profiles, but then it, the, imp, the case itself is also the front shroud on these particular pumps controlling the flow path. Um, so these pumps, because you have a gap between the casing and the impeller, you're not going to get the same hydraulic efficiency and performance out of these pumps. Um, but they are at there's an advantage when it comes to solids because if you do have a solid that gets stuck in the pump, it will wear itself down until it gets passed through because you've got a rotating impeller running next to a stationary casing, and uh, so you can clear solids better. Um, with one of these semi-open impeller designs.